right, look at that. We are now bona fide cowboys because we have cows and we're a boy. Well, we're a man, but cowman, cowman doesn't sound right. That sounds like, you know, maybe some goofy superhero. The Adventures of Cowman. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, we are going to start our next phase of upgrading our farm. Um, all right, so here is the plan. We are going to, and some of you may have already guessed this, <laughs> uh, we're going to get cows. Yes, we are. Uh, cows are the main thing, uh, but we're also going to do some other stuff, too. So let's go ahead and um, just thinking here for a second. Let's uh, let's do this. We're going to go here and we're going to go here and we are going to purchase field 50, 53, 53 and 55. We will also purchase 51 as soon as possible. Uh, but I don't have enough money to purchase that and do all the other things that I want to do um, this time around. Uh, but we might see if we can grab this, you know, before the end of the year. We'll just kind of see how things go with that. Uh, all right. So we have now expanded our farm uh, by this much. Now I'm going to, here, let's zoom in a little bit. I'm going to kind of recreate a road. There was sort of a road here uh, initially. I'm going to create a road that kind of follows along the creek and goes around this way. Um, and actually, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to have that road go all the way around over into this part of our farm here. Uh, this road doesn't exist anymore. I'm going to also plow this road out and I'm going to plow this road out. And this whole entire section here is going to be one ginormous hayfield eventually. However, um, field 50 currently has a crop of barley on it, which is just perfect because what I was originally going to do is, you know, turn this into a hay field and buy this and plant barley on here. Um, we need to plant barley both so we can get straw, uh, and you know, for the chickens, even though, you know, we still have plenty of chicken food for now. Straw's a little bit low because I sold so much of it, but it's, you know, it'll get us started. Uh, plus, you know, more than likely we'll have some harvesting contracts that we can do to get some straw, you know, later on in the year too. So I'm not too worried about that at this moment. All right. But yeah, we're not going to buy 51 right now. Uh, 53, I'm going to plow this road under, expand the borders of 53 a little bit more and make another really large hay field here. Okay. Um, so, you know, we're still, hay is still going to be our main crop, but, you know, as we continue to expand the farm, and I add, you know, more uh, upgrades in the future. We're, we're going to be planting other items too besides hay. But hay, you know, hay is what's really made us so much money. Uh, and, you know, we need the hay now too, you know, for the cows and stuff that we're going to get. Okay, so yeah, one big hay field here. Eventually one big hay field here and barley here once we buy it. At the moment though, um, this already has barley on it. So we're going to keep that barley there and harvest it uh, because um, and it works out for us, and we didn't even have to plant it, okay? Uh, 53 and 55, I think both had weeds on them. Now, I could have I waited until, you know, something gets planted on them and then buy them, but I need to use this land right now for what we're going to do, and, you know, I, I'd rather just get this planted with hay right now and get, you know, get, get it profitable with the hay rather than wait and see what might, you know, like for example, what if the farmer decides to plant cotton on there again? Well, it's so darned expensive to, to lease the cotton harvesting equipment. Uh, and I know for a fact, because we did this last year, that this, this field can't even produce a full bale. So probably not worth it. We might as well just plow it under right now, put some hay on it and, and make it profitable right from the get-go. Okay. So that's the, that's the deal behind that. Okay. So uh, we have expanded the size of our farm. That's amazing. I've been wanting 50 and 53 for a long time now. Uh, and now we have them. So that's awesome. Okay, so let's go over here now. And we're going to start doing some things over here. For the time being, for, for this, this year, this in-game year, I think I'm going to leave this field the way it is with one exception, and that is that we are going to 
probably, uh, almost certainly, in fact, purchase our own dairy and put it up by that building up there. Now, I could purchase the dairy that already exists, but it's way over there. And I have, you know, I kind of have plans for this whole entire field eventually with productions and sell points and, and you know, stuff like that. So, I, you know, and I'd rather have the dairy just close by. So it, it, it doesn't, it's going to cost the same no matter what. If I bought the one that already exists, it would cost me the same amount of money as if I bought this one. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we're going to, that's the plan, but we're going to do the highest priority stuff first and then work our way kind of down the list, so to speak. Okay, so uh, this field is going to become our, basically, our animal farm. Yeah, our animal farm. This is where our animals are going to live from now on. Uh, I'll probably at some, uh, I'm going to leave the chickens where they are for now, but I'll probably move the chickens over here eventually too. Okay, so that means what we're going to do is we're going to get over right about here-ish or so. And I'm going to save the game. And I have to be, I have to be, um, I have to be careful about the this next part because um, I got to do some landscaping, but I don't want to overdo the landscaping just because it's so expensive. Um, by the time we're done doing everything I want to do, we're going to be darn near out of money, but that, that'll just be a temporary situation. Okay. So let's go ahead and, um, get into the build menu here. Uh, that hotkey for that is shift P for anybody that might not know that. I think we'll eventually take these in fact. Yeah, we are going to take those trees out. Um, they need to go. There's only really one tree there that would even be remotely worth trying to get some money from. So, okay, well, let's just leave those trees alone for now. We don't have, we don't have to do those right now. Let's do what we have to do right now. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to very quickly place down the large cow barn the largest cow barn here oh no i'm not because i can't afford it never mind uh we'll put that th this one's almost the same size as that one except for this one has a little extension i'm going to per put it down then i'm going to immediately pick it back up again because if i pick it back up very quickly i'll get all my money back i'm only doing this because i'm planning on expanding to this barn uh in the future so i want to get the footprint uh, footprint right from the get-go uh, but we aren't gonna we're not gonna actually buy this barn we're gonna buy the smaller the 254 one okay so so what I want to do is I'm gonna turn it this way and I could I could have it run at an angle you know so it's kind of lines up with that road but the problem with that is some of the other add-ons for the barn like the the manure pit and so forth you can't put that at an angle. So that would mean the manure pit would be at a weird angle, which may not be a problem. Uh, or if I put, you know, cause this is actually the cardinal directions here. If I put the barn this way, yeah, I, I think, just trying to think about this for a minute. Yeah, I, th I think it's gonna look better if we angle the barn and have the manure pit angled at a weird angle. Okay, yeah, so I think that's what we'll do. All right, now what I want to do here is let's kind of get in the middle. Because this is going to be the largest building, I want it to kind of be in the center of the animal yard. Um, so because I have the snapping on, it's it's perfectly lined up on the angle. So let's turn this way. I do need to leave a little bit of room for that, um, for this little extension here if we eventually get this barn, which we may or may not. And I was planning on having the pasture stick out that way. Yeah, I think we need to do it that way. Okay, so right up, yeah, so right up lined about to where the edge of the field is is fine, except for again, I need to leave room for we can actually oh yeah, we can see this. We just can't put it down because we don't have the money for it. Right, okay. Yeah, so that means we should put we need to leave room for this building uh, eventually, right? So just trying to see if I can get like a little marker 
Okay, so let's put this down quickly and then pick it right back up again and get our money back. And again, we just did that so we now have the footprint of the of the eventual larger building. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the landscaping tool and the leveling tool. And again, I don't want to overdo this right now just because of how much it's going to cost. So, in fact, before we do that, let's go back to here and let's grab the small cow barn. This is what we're actually going to start with. Um, yeah, so we don't want the pasture at an angle like that because that looks pretty, pretty jank. So we're going to want to level out at least part of that pasture and probably just about everything on this side or most everything on that side for now. Oh, we don't have to do it all right now, but just enough to get everything going the way that I want to get stuff going. All right. Okay. So. I think that shows me what I need to see. So let's go back to landscaping. Let's grab the leveling tool. I thought about role playing this like I have in the past, but it, there's just too much that I need to think about and some things I want to explain to you guys as we do them. So that's that's why I decided just to do this normally this time. Um, so yeah, anyway. Okay, so let's increase the size of this. And we want to... It, if we do a square, it's going to be at an angle, which I don't think is going to really be good for what we need to do. Okay, so let's get right in the middle of here, and then we're just going to pull this back to right about here. And then do the same thing here. Again, I don't want to overdo this because it costs a lot of money. Maybe go one more this way. Okay, so let's look at it now. Okay, now we're going to go from here to about there and then over this way to there and then also out to about here. Like so. And about to there. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfectly level either, by the way, uh, but level enough, you know. Uh, okay, so why don't we? Let's shrink this down to about there. I want to get my screen more or less square and just kind of. Even that out a little bit there. And likewise over here. We'll just kind of... Just enough to get rid of all, you know, or most of that little field stuff there. Okay, I think that's all we're going to do for now. Now, I will continue to work on this landscaping because eventually this whole thing is going to be this nice little flat plateau for our animal farm but again uh, I don't need to do all of it right now and it's very expensive so we'll have to wait until we have more money to do it but I think that's all we're gonna do for landscaping for now okay let's go back to animals let's grab the small cow barn okay and uh, we want to put this I think right about here all right there we go That doesn't look too bad. Uh, we got a little bit of stuff going on here. If we go back to landscaping and go to smoothing, um, can we... All right. Maybe we better level just a little bit here. There we go. I think that's probably okay. Uh, we are going to need to be driving through here, though, so why don't we do this? All 
All right, let's go back to smoothing. I kind of went down a little further than I wanted it to, but... All right, yeah, this is a little bit rough through here. Well, let's raise this back up just a smidge. I want this to be kind of a nice gradual bank here, not a big dip, especially where we got to drive. Okay, let's go back to smoothing and just, just chill things out a little bit here. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, if I need to adjust it a little bit more later, we certainly can do that, but I think that'll be okay. Very good. All right, so we got our cow barn. Now... The next thing we are going to do is we are going to go into buildings and silo extensions and we are going to put down a manure and this is the thing that you know is going to be at an angle because it won't go you know uh, well it, it's actually not at the angle the barns what's at the angle because this is actually the cardinal direction here uh, and we need to put down a slurry pit so I think I'll start with the slurry pit and I'm going to want that next to the slurry uh, spout there on the barn. I know it doesn't have to be right next to it, but it kind of makes sense to put it next to it. And we need to make sure we leave enough room to be able to drive through there. Well, actually, yeah, I don't want it to block that door because we have to drive in and out of that door. So maybe we'll hold it back over this way a little. And is it level or not level straight yeah it is straight right there okay um that's probably okay right there okay and what that does is that extends the capacity of the slurry from the barn's default which i don't think is a whole lot okay now we need to figure out where we're going to put this Probably makes the most sense to turn this this way and put it. Um, it'll let us put it there. I wish I could move it back a little further, but. What about right here? I want to be able to drive between it and the slurry tank if I have to for some reason. I'm not going to put it over here because, well, it's not, it's too far away over there anyway. Uh, because I have other plans for that little section. Plans that we're not going to do anything about this time around, though. Okay, let's turn this way. I like that right there. Maybe pull it out a little bit. Okay, good. All right. So we got those two things in place. Uh, we have room to drive through here, and I might even do like a little pathway or a road through there. And I, if I have to get through here, uh, I can, <coughs> I can also do that. Excellent. All right, now let's see where we're sitting at. We have two hundred fifty-two thousand dollars left. We have to buy the cows, so we'll do that. But I think we're going to do the dairy next, and then we have some machinery uh, that we have to get too. Okay, so let's go to production, and I want to get this dairy here. I like the way this one looks. And we'll be able to make cheese, butter, and chocolate with this dairy. Interestingly enough, in this game, to make chocolate, you don't need cocoa. <laughs> you just need milk and sugar. It's like, okay, are we talking white chocolate here? Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's the way it works. So if that's the way it works, that's the way it works. All right, now we need to leave uh, room for uh, to get, you know, to to load up the milk, uh, which is to the left of the building as we are looking at it right now. 
uh, and we'll have to get in there with the big tanker. So, but I don't want to leave too much room because I'm planning on putting future facilities along this front area too. I sure wished I could delete these buildings, but <clears throat> uh, there's there might be a, like an editor or something I could get to do that, but I'm just going to work with it the way it is, I suppose. Okay, so I think this is where we want this. You know what? Let's quickly pick it back up. And I want to move it to the left just a little bit more than that. So probably more like... Here. That's going to be kind of tight getting a tanker in there. Um, yeah, here. We should have probably left it the way it was. Yeah, let's move it back out this way. Maybe even a little further back out. Okay, that's good enough. That's where we're going to keep it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we now have our own dairy. We are going to call this... OG's... No, nah, we're just going to call it OG Dairy. OG's Dairy sounds kind of... Well, I don't like it as much. OG Dairy. Okay, nice. Of course, it's just going to sit there and not do anything yet until, you know, we can start feeding milk into it. Uh, I will work on, you know, roads and making this area look really cool, you know, as, as we develop it. But I can't do it all at once just because here again, it's really expensive to do all that. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Okay, so next thing is we're going to come over here. Here, um, no, actually, before we, uh, uh, there's a couple more structures I want to put up, but they're lower priority. So let's go back to the farm, and we need, we're going to need a couple of really important pieces of equipment for our cows here. Let's do that next. Yeah, it actually worked out quite well that Field 50 had a barley crop on it. So I'm good with that, man. So I was gonna I was gonna plant it otherwise. Now if we have enough money, I have decided that we are indeed gonna sell the cold storage, which is I know it's a big bummer. I love this building, absolutely love it, but we just can't use it for what it's intended to be used for. Um, the game can't, you know, can't handle the pallets. Uh, and what I do need is I need a new shed. So we're probably just going to put another one of those sheds in its place. But I got to get all that stuff out of the way first. Uh, all right, let's go into here. In fact, you know what? I didn't even look at the sales. Let's see what's it on for sale. We, we're going to need this eventually, but um, this is not only a slurry distributor, but it's also a cultivator. And I don't want one with a cultivator on it. Uh, for example, we might decide to to spread slurry on our grass fields. Though I probably won't do that because we can roll those, but I wouldn't want to tear it up. You know what I mean? So what is this? This is a mulcher. See, now this would come in handy for mulching our grain fields, but it's not something we need right now, uh, even though it's pretty inexpensive. So, yeah, let's let's not do that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and we're going to go into animals and uh, we are going to need to buy. Uh, let's start with what we need for the straw. So we're going to buy this coon uh, straw shed, a shredder uh, because it, for those of you who don't know in farming simulator, you need to provide straw for bedding for cows in order for them to then produce manure and so you need this machine to do that especially if you have straw bales which we do um and so yeah we're gonna grab this and we're not gonna lease it we're gonna buy it because we're gonna need it all the time moving forward yeah so you just take and throw it, uh, square bales in here and then it shreds the sh uh, straw up and then blows it into the barn and there's a little spot on the barn that we can do that okay so we got that done uh, now, uh, we're also going to get, um, I think we want this. 
This is a, T, a TMR, <coughs> excuse me, TMR mixer. Wait a minute, though. That's not the right one. Uh, yeah, that isn't the right one. I think I have a couple of mods that I installed, but I haven't activated. So let me let me get that done. I'll be right back. There we go. Silo King Feed Mixer Package. That's what we wanted. I actually hadn't installed it either. I, I did on, on a, a test save, but I didn't install it on my main save, so that's what the deal is with that. Okay, now we should be good. Okay, so let's go into Animals. And now we should see some extra Silo Kings here. Okay, so the one we're going to get is the 2218, uh, but we want to increase the capacity to 22 meters. Uh, and we'll do a two-wheel axis setup. Why that matters, I don't know, because it doesn't cost anything extra. And that's going to cost us a total of $50,000. Um, so this basically gives us a 22,000 liter um, mixer for $50,000 compared to the base game option, which is the these two. Um, that, oh, well, actually, hold on. That's 22,000 liters, too, for only $4,500. Why did I think that other one was better? Horsepower doesn't matter because all of our tractors can easily handle that. This one is 24,000 liters for $50,000. So this gives us 2,000 more liters for the same price as this modded one. What am I missing here? The only thing different is this has the two wheels, but again, so what? <laughs> Why does that even matter? Uh, this can discharge on both sides. Okay, so that's useful. This one's even smaller in capacity, so we're not even interested in that one. Can this one here discharge on both sides? It looks like it can. All right, well, for this for fifty thousand dollars, which is what I was about to drop on that other one, we can get this one for two thousand more liters. Uh, there's other ones on the on the mod hub too. And we'll probably upgrade to a larger one later on as our farm gets bigger. But um, I just like I said, I gotta be careful with with expenditures here. Um well, yeah, I guess we go with this one. Same price as the other one I was going to get, but for 2,000 more liters. Fer Ferrison? Ferrison? Fer Ferrison? I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, okay, yep, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so that gives us our TMR mixer. And again, if you don't know what that is, that's basically a mixture of silage, hay, and straw, and optionally mineral, uh, mineral feed. Okay, so that leaves us now at $92,473. Uh, $92, so let's go back out to, actually, let's jump on our a tractor. No, I want to be in the tractor. What? What the heck, man? Okay, let's, oh, let's get at it from this side. It's putting me in the big M. Let's grab the TMR mixer and take it out there with us. Um, I actually, well, you know what? Let's get the cows first. That's the next highest priority. So there's not much point in having a cow barn if you don't have cows in them. There's some wisdom to live by, right? Okay, let's just park this here. Well, actually, that's not a good place to park that, because that... 
marker thingamadoodle is in the way. I still don't know what that is. After all this time playing this game. That's fine. We'll just park it here for now. Okay, now we have two options for the cows. We can either lease a livestock transport trailer for a heck of a lot of money and only be able to carry like 12 at a time and make multiple trips, or we can just pay a fee to have them delivered. We're going to pay the fee. I don't know that, I don't think the fee is hugely more expensive, but it's hugely more convenient. Let's get these doors open here too. Okay, so this is the door that we blow the straw in. We can actually blow the straw in anywhere in this area, but we'll be realistic about it. Uh, okay, so let's go to the paw here. This is, of course, going to be a dairy farm. We may, in the future, um, also do some beef cows too, uh, but we're starting off with the dairy farm because we need the milk to do the dairy product. We are also going to purchase the 12-month-old cows. The 12-month-old cows are 1100 bucks um but they can produce milk they they still can't reproduce but i'm not even raising cows to reproduce we're just going to buy all of them at once uh so we can get milk production going at ma a maximum rate okay and we can either do brown swiss or a uh, swiss or holstein there's no difference in terms of their production um we could even do you know maybe a few of each uh, but let's start with the holsteins uh so we can have Oh, we can buy all 45. Okay, let's buy 25 Holsteins. Okay. And we only have to pay 2000 bucks to have those delivered. That's actually nothing. It would have cost way more for us to lease the livestock trailer and make multiple trips. So, yeah, that, that seems like it's not even balanced. Okay, so let's buy these cows. And then we'll also buy 20 brown Swiss. Because why not? We'll have a mixture. Okay, so we have a full barn. Listen to those cows, man. Hi, cows. Look at you. You look more like a gray Swiss than a brown Swiss. You look more like a brown Swiss. <laughs> All right, look at that. We are now bona fide cowboys. Because we have cows. And we're a boy. Well, we're a man, but Cowman? Cowman doesn't sound right. That sounds like, you know, maybe some goofy superhero. The Adventures of Cowman. No, we're cowboys. Awesome. Okay. So now that we got cows, we got to get them fed. So let's run back over here. And um, basically, to take care of these cows, the most important thing is to keep them fed with TMR, total mix ration. Uh, but also, if we want them to produce manure for us, which we do, because we can use that for fertilizer and for our greenhouses, even more importantly, um, we have to, you know, give them straw. Okay, so what I need to do is, actually, I got to go back over and get the telehandler. I'll be right back. Okay, we are going to uh, actually need the bale fork. Actually, we could probably use this. I might be able to use that. Let's try it. Uh, that bag handler strap thingamadoodle that I've used for the pallets is so useful. Very, very useful. Whoa! I had to actually go uh, AFK for a, a while, so I'm going to get my mic set back up here. Yeah, if this picks up bales, I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, we could just use this. We can do just about every telehandler job there is with this strap, strap thing of a doodle. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw in. We're going to start with one silage bale. So let's go silage. We want the 1.5 round bales, and I want... We have a total of seven in there? Oh, I thought I only had six in there. Let's just pull two out. Still don't know why those come out as pink bales. 
Um, we could probably get this done with one hay bale. Uh, we want a square 2.4. Let's pull out uh, two just in case. And we're going to need probably three straw bales in total, for uh, also for the straw blower. So these are 2.4 squares, and let's pull out, let's actually pull out four. Okay. So I'm just going to put one of each into, well, no, actually, we want it, we don't want to put too much straw in, because if we put too much straw in, then it ends up be turning into forage uh, and not TMR. The best mix is one that has mostly the majority of its hay, but you still have enough of the other stuff for it to be considered TMR. Oh, right. We, we need to get some mineral feed, too. Uh, how much does that cost? We need to go here, and we need to go to pallets. And we're looking for mineral feed. It's only a 1000 bucks. so that's, that's not so bad. Okay, let's buy that. We'll have to run back over and get that. Okay, so we're going to jump in here, start the tractor, and then turn on the mixer wagon. Man, you sure wouldn't want to fall in that thing. That would not be good. Okay, so... Now, we just lift this up here and basically drop it in. And so if we look in the little graph on the left, it shows that currently the mix is 100% silage. I probably should have taken the plastic off first, but it doesn't actually matter. It would in the real world. Okay, now let's grab one full hay bale, which is quite a bit more capacity than one round silage bale, or at least the ones we have. Yeah, this, this bag handler is just amazing. What a useful tool, man. Okay, and then we'll drop that in there. Now you can see the graph updating because it's starting to add hay and it's bringing the silage back down. Good. Okay. Now let's, before we put the straw in, because the straw is the last thing we want to put in, uh, let's go back over and grab that pallet of minerals. Now, I don't think we're, we're not going to use the whole thing. We're just going to put enough in to get it, you know, between the two arrows. And what that's going to do is it's going to have our cows, you know, give us maximum milk production. You don't need to do the mineral feed, but my understanding is that if you do, it increases your yield. I don't know by how much, but I mean, it's only a thousand bucks a pallet anyway. It's not that expensive. Yeah, let's back up just a smidge. There we go. I like too that it shows you the graph even when you're not sitting in the tractor so you can see exactly how much the mix is. I don't I don't know that it used to do that. I think you used to have to kind of guess and then get out and jump in the tractor to see what's in there, but I could be wrong about that. Not sure. Okay, now I think what we can do is kind of hold this over the the hopper without actually dropping it in and it's you know basically simulating us um whoa 
<laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to get it to quit swinging there. There we go. Oh, that's so nice that we can see that. Okay, so we're just watching the, the bottom graph. And if we get this close enough, it should start filling some of this in. There we go. We just want to get it right about there. That's good. Okay. Wow, that did almost use the whole pallet, didn't it? Hmm. Okay. Okay, set that down there. Now, how full are we? We are... Doesn't actually tell us how full it actually is. It's 58%. Okay, so... Now we're going to do straw, but I don't think we want to put a full straw bale in here. We just want to put enough in to get in between the arrows, and then we'll use uh, hay for everything else, or, or silage. Hay would be a little cheaper. Okay, so we'll get this over here. Start dropping it down in. Okay. Actually, no, I take that back. We want... We want to put as much straw in as we can because straw is the cheapest. But not too much, because if we put too much in, then it turns back into forage. Okay, so right now... Um, there's 37% of this bale left. So let's drop that. So I think we probably want to put more... Let's look at the ratios again. I'd say a little more silage. So it may end up that when we do a mix, it's just always going to be two silage bales. And, you know, well, here, let's just see what happens. Can we get the whole thing in there? I've seen this done before, but I'm new to doing it myself, uh, and I've, I'm new to this particular mixer too, and its capacity. So, is it? Uh, what's it doing? There we go. Is it going to take the whole thing? Uh, nope, it's done. Okay, so I still have 21% left. So in the future, we know we can put a full hay bale in. So we start with a full hay bale and one full silage, and then 60% of another silage bale. Then we'll put in the... Here, let me look at something. We could have... If we were really trying to be frugal, we could have put a little more straw in, but... Yeah, and then, you know, the, the mineral feed and go from there. Do we still have enough ratio of mineral feed in there? Yeah, we do. Okay. As long as it's in between the arrows, I think it's good. I don't even know if this will take a, a partial bale. Let's see what it does. Yep, I guess so. All right, very good. Let's leave the telehandler here. And we gotta go get the, the straw chopper next. Well, after we feed the cows. Okay, let's go. I'm coming cows, I know you're hungry.
I don't know. I might, I might just put a full pallet of the mineral feed in each time. Okay, so we want to... I don't know why that's flashing like that. We want to tip side right. Okay. Let me just pull in here and start loading. Come and get it, cows! Your dinner's here. Or maybe your breakfast. Okay, so let's see. That filled us up about 60, about 70%-ish. 23, yeah, 24,000 liters. Okay. Um, let's turn that thing off. Usually the cows come running. They're not doing it that side. Well, one of them did. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if we should maybe think about building a, a shed over here so we can just store our cow equipment and any other animal equipment that we, you know, eventually get just over here. We could put a shed right, right along there. I'll have to think about that because I kind of had a different plan for over here. So for now, I'm just going to put this over here, like so. Actually, no, hold on. You know what? I can just store this inside of the cow barn. That's probably the better solution for now. So at least it's under cover. I think that that 24,000 um, liters that we did will probably last at least a month. I don't know. We'll have to see. Now some of them are... Oh, yeah, a lot of them are feeding. <laughs> That's cool. I love it, man. I love it. Okay, let's run over and get the straw blower next. Now, this is technically supposed to, I think, only hold two bales, but it might let me put more in. Let's just see what happens. Not, not to mention that bale we just put in was a partial anyway. kind of wish the Giants had a, a different model for partial bales. You know, so you can just tell by looking at them that it's not a full bale. Okay, so we got two in there. Let's see if we can put a third one on top. Staying in there. Okay. We'll go. We won't go too fast, just in case uh, that one on the top tries to jump out. Okay, so we're going to pull through here and get right up next to this door here. And start blowing straw. Here, cows, have a straw shower. That'd be terrible. <laughs> okay, and while that's doing its thing, 
you'll start to see their uh, their stalls filling up with slaw, uh, straw. Oh, well, except for I gotta, it, it won't keep crunching them. You have to keep activating it. But yeah, they, it, they start to fill up with straw and then once their bedding is completely filled up, then they start producing manure for you. How you doing, cows? You like your new home? Make sure you make lots of leche for us. Lots of leche. Okay. Yeah, that first one was the partial bale. That's why it ran out so quickly. This one's almost done. Okay, let's take a look and see where we're at with our straw level. Uh, yeah, we're only a little over half, so it's going to take even more than just this load. But here's the thing. What's going to happen, you know, at, over time now is this, this is going to start filling up with manure. And then we can take that manure and use it to fertilize the greenhouses. And we won't have to conti continue using the chemical fertilizer, the granule stuff, uh, which is going to save us a ton of money. So pretty cool, man. Uh, plus, you know, we can get manure spreaders and fertilize fields with manure and, and slurry. Um, I probably would be more apt to use slurry for field spreading, though. Uh, okay, what happened here? Maybe it doesn't register that bale as actually being in there. Oh, did it drop in now? Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, it's full. Ah, okay. I miss, uh, <laughs> I miss, I read that. Cool. Well, never mind then. We'll just leave this bale in here. And, well, actually, if I'm going to store this in there, I'm going to have to back it in, obviously. Which I will for now. I am starting to think, though, maybe we do want to get a shed over here. Uh, or at least over by the hay barns. It wouldn't make sense to do so. There are certain things over at the main yard that we could probably move over here too. That's good. All right. We finally have cows, you guys. This is amazing. And we have our own dairy. So what will happen is we will move the milk. I think I'll just leave those doors open. Uh, you know, when the milk is ready, I'll probably for now just use my water tank because, you know, they're interchangeable. But eventually we'll probably want to have a dedicated milk tank. And then we just drive it right over here to this dumping point. And once we get, you know, milk going in here, then we can start making butter and cheese. And then when we get a hold of sugar later on, um, you know, we can we can add chocolate to the to the list. So very cool. All right. Well, let's see what's going to happen next. Is I'm going to plow and prep field 53 this field that we're looking at straight ahead of us here and basically just add it to uh to 54 here and so now we're just going to have one pretty nice sizable hay field so that's going to happen here and then over on this side i probably uh, I might not really do anything over here until we can har harvest this barley. And then once this barley's harvest, then I'm going to add 50, which is to our left, to these fields uh, over here. And this is just going to be one enormous hay field like we, we talked about at the beginning of the episode. And then when the money is right, we will, um, uh, we will buy this field. And this field will eventually become us uh, uh, other crops so you know we maybe we'll plant for example barley in this field the following year i like barley because it's 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 a little more valuable than wheat 
we get straw from it, and we can feed it to the chickens. Sorghum, you can't get straw from. Wheat is not as valuable as barley. Oats, you can't feed the chickens. So of the four grains available to us in the game, barley uh, is my favorite for those reasons. Okay, so... Let's see, we have $38,000 left. We do need to reseed our greenhouses. Um, and they're gonna need fertilizer too, but I'm kind of hoping, I'm gonna hold out on the fertilizer and seeing how far I can let it go before I absolutely have to do it because by the time I absolutely have to do it, we might, uh, I don't know if we'll have enough manure to do all of them, but we, we can at least get some of them started with manure. Uh, so I'm going to sit on this for a little bit longer. And I do have manure, or not manure, I'm sorry, uh, fertilizer. I still have granular fertilizer in storage too, like 9,000 liters of it, in fact. Um, but we are going to need to do seeds, and then, of course, water doesn't cost anything. Uh, let's go see how many seeds we actually have in here. Well, we don't actually need to do that. We can just look right here. Seeds. Well, actually, can we see seeds from here? Maybe we can't. Oh, yeah, right here. All right, so we have 4,700 liters of seed. I don't know if that's going to be enough. So if it isn't, I'm going to have to buy some more. So I think I'm going to stop for now with upgrades until I, you know, until I can make sure our greenhouses are fully seeded uh, and, you know, feel comfortable that I still have enough money left over. But the next thing that's going to happen is we're going to, well, here, let me, let me just tell you what I want to do. I want to sell the cold storage because it's just not as cool as it is. It's not doing us any good. I want to put another easy shed though it's only ten thousand dollars one of those sheds in its place and maybe even a second easy shed out by the cow barn and then i'm i think what we're going to do is we're going to start trying our hand at si loose silage uh which means we want to put a uh we want to put this silage bunker down not here of course it'll be over by the hay barns uh, so that's going to be another twenty five thousand dollars and I'll, I'll just have to, for for now, I'll just have to lease a forage wagon to pick it up um, and start using loose silage. Maybe not necessarily to sell, but at least for our own cows. So that's kind of the what I'm thinking about. Now, that isn't set in stone yet. The other option we could do if we wanted to is we could purchase a... Oh, let's see. It's, uh, what do you call those thingies? I think it's a bale. Yeah, uh, we could purchase this extractor. And what this can do is this can work with both round and square bales, but it creates kind of like a big tube of silage. And it's just another way to make silage. So instead of baling them out in the field at a maximum size of 150 centimeters, which is as high as I can go, or doing it at 220 centimeters, which is as high as you can go with the square bales, and then having to go around and wrap each bale individually, and then having to go around and pick them up again. This guy, you can feed um, the largest size square bale, the 240, and it just wraps them for you and leaves them in a long tube on the ground. I don't know. This this might actually be a better way for us to go than the doing the silage bunker, because the, th the problem with the silage bunker is... We would have to lease the equipment, to, you know, to use it. I still might do that eventually, but I'm starting to think maybe the tube might make more sense for us. So I'll I'll give that some thought. But anyway, so yeah, one to two more sheds and either the silage tube maker or a silage bunker uh, are the remaining things that I have on my list in terms of stuff to get. Uh, then we have to prep the fields like I've already talked about and make sure that the greenhouses are fully stocked with what, everything that they need. And then, yeah, we start, we start uh, our our seventh year right is it our seventh year uh it must be counting this as our sixth year i bet you it is okay because because yeah when i looked at this i think it was in the last episode i thought it was i was a little surprised that it says six years so it's actually this is the start of our sixth year so we have gone through five years that makes a little more sense 
Very cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.